Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to yet again another Minimal Mondays. For today's video, as you probably already read in the title description or the thumbnail, or as you can see right here next to me, we're going to be talking about these brand new off-white dunks. Now, this shoe is unique in a multitude of ways. It isn't just the overlay system, nor is it the deconstructed aspect of what makes this shoe uniquely itself. But all the way down to how it was released was very, very different than sneakers of the past. Because if you were so lucky to be randomly selected through sneakers app to get exclusive access to purchase these sneakers, you'd have a totally random pair from a total lot of 50 sent over to your residence. The lot that I receive is lot five. I find this to be a pretty nice colorway in my humble opinion. You've got the cream tongue as well as the off-white laces, a pinkish orange heel tab, as well as a black Nike logo with the overlay system being a university light blue. I honestly feel like this is a pretty fire color scheme. I mean, especially among some of the other ones that are out there uh, with the different color hang tags and tongues and things of that nature, and even the overlay system. This specific pair, in my opinion, has to be in at least the top 10 among the 50. And while I do appreciate this color scheme, I do much, much prefer sneakers that are really versatile. And so for that reason, I went ahead and purchased a couple sets of laces, first normal laces, as well as an overlay system to go ahead and replace what's already there. I decided to go ahead and keep the original laces and swap out the overlace with a cream set. And quite honestly, I like this shoe a whole lot more now. I feel like it's way more wearable. Uh, the colors don't really clash as much. And I'm now able to go ahead and pair these sneakers with a few different types of outfits as the blue limiting factor isn't there anymore. But with that, I do want to hear your guys' opinions down below in the comment section. Was this an upgrade? Was this a downgrade? Is the shoe a bit too boring now with uh, the super simple overlace color? I want to hear what you guys have to say down below what your preference would be. And now hopping right into the first outfit, this one is going to be a bit more on the simple side. For the top, I've got on a Fear of God 6 collection mainline t-shirt. This is known as the logo tee. As you can see, it's got a big banner up front. And I've got that paired up with the Terry basketball shorts. This one is a recent release. I do believe it's still on the site. Go ahead and hit the link in the description if you're into these. I personally find them to be extremely unique as they are comprised of a super soft to the touch and breathable French Terry material. This fabric is very, very nice weighted. It feels of insanely good quality and it's got an incredible vintage wash. I personally went ahead and went with a size small, which is my true to size size. I'm a waist size of a 30. I'm about 160 pounds and my height is 5'7", and this is how they look on body. And now moving on to outfit number two, for the base layer, I've got a simple white t-shirt. For the jacket, this is a varsity jacket. The bottoms are one of my favorites. You guys know what they are. The D212 denim. Not only is the wash amazing, not only the fit, but I love the release hem. This pair of denim is literally my go-to because they're not too, too baggy, nor are they super slim. So they complement a ton of different sneakers and the off-white dunk is definitely no exception. For outfit number three, I've got on a long sleeve vintage treated shirt. Uh, this is actually a modern shirt that's been kind of faded and aged. I feel like that does complement my B denim. This is our flare cargo. I love how these fit as, as the name entails, it is a flare finish down at the ankle, which does have that very trendy covering sneaker effect. Overall, a really great fitting pair of pants as they relax through the thigh, taper down and then open right back up at the bottom. I do go true to size with this pair. 
design wise they're definitely more on the louder side that's why i went with a more simple top and of course we have on feet uh, our off-white dunks and now on to our last fit for today's video the top is a vintage pink floyd tee this is a 1992 single stitch beautifully faded and aged t-shirt i love this piece uh the bottoms are the snap zipper cargo 2 this is a really sick a changing of materials making the outfit a bit more dynamic as you do have different textures the snap zipper cargo 2 is among our most popular styles to ever be made and rightly so as they are so unique as they have the button openings as well as the zipper opening down at the bottom so you can essentially open up uh, the ankle to fit the exact shoe you have on making this pant insanely versatile here i'm wearing a true to size 30 and they fit beautifully and as i've already mentioned that is the last outfit of today's video let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the sneakers the lace swap and any of these outfits if you are interested in any of the bottoms featured in today's video i will have links down below to give you direct access to them and i'm pretty sure if you go ahead and sign up for the newsletter you'll get a discount code for 10 percent off so definitely take advantage of that as well as always thank you so so much for the continued support stopping by the channel once again and continuing to support the minimal community we really appreciate it and of course as always i'll see you guys again next week for a, another minimal monday